हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल स्टेक कैंपस सो दिस इज क्लास फोर वेर वी आर गोइंग टू राइट हाउ टू राइट अ लोकेटस ओके सो लेट्स गो टू आवर ब्राउजर एंड वी आर ऑन दिस पेज ऑन प्रीवियस लेक्चर राइट वेर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लोकेटस सो नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू राइट अ लोकेटस ओके सो बेसिकली सिंटेक्स आई विल गोइंग टू टीच यू फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर here i am going to give you the basic uh, understanding of this one okay see so we know id is a locator okay but how to find this id okay how to find like uh, this will be uh, capture with this locator id locator how to get so just inspect this one inspect you know how to do so first of all like this page will be like this way when you click facebook.com so you have to right click and then you have to go to inspect or you can do the control shift and i okay control shift i for inspect now uh you can see this button okay so i will zoom it for you okay hope uh, this is clear for you yeah so uh you have to click this button and then you have to click here so you can see id is there okay but how to use this id okay just remember uh let me create this for you again okay yeah so whenever you want to call id so you have to place symbol has before okay and then you have to give the id value okay id value okay just go to the facebook page again we want to get this block with the help of id so what we have to do see uh, before that one i will tell you one thing so like uh, for getting the locator what you have written is unique and what you have written is correct or not so for this one there are different extension or plugins are used in the market okay so like if you want to download then you can also download that things i will tell you the name one is crow path and rest other i will give in the description box okay so you can use that one but if you don't want to use and you want to learn everything from yourself then you what you can do you can control f here okay just press control f control f so you can see this window is populated there the uh, it is asking for find by string selector or xpath means they are asking us to give the locator's name okay and then find your block okay so you can use this uh, extension no need to download any other extension you can only use this uh, block okay so as i told you so i just want to grab this block okay so to grab this block what you have to do uh, we have to click here just click here so you are getting id also is one element class is also one element okay so we can get these two element here but let's i want to grab it with the help of id okay so just remember if you have a class name you if you have a id so any time or every time you have to use id first okay id is very unique so you have to use the id okay so how to write id you have to give symbol has and then you have to give the id value okay so here id value is okay just grab this block again yeah so uh, here you can see the id value is email so copy the value of id value and paste here after has you can see this block is now highlighted it means this is correct uh, uh, locator and one more thing you have to see you have to, you have to see like this is unique or not unique means there should be only one element for this tag okay for this locator there should be only one element yeah so both the condition are satisfied it is highlighted this section also and we have only one locator also okay so we can use in this r uh, we can use this locator in our testing code okay i will help you like how to write a code from the next lecture but i am just going to give you the basic uh, information about the how to use the id okay now second thing how to use x path okay see uh x path is very unique okay means you can say like x path and css selector these two locators you can use anywhere okay if you don't have id you don't have any uh, class then also you can use other attributes okay other attributes other tags okay so this is an attributes okay this is attribute value this is a tag okay so with the help of these things you can uh, uh, with the help of uh, locators uh, xpath you can use these things okay anywhere so let's understand first how to write xpath okay just go to the syntax uh, notepad plus again okay how to use xpath okay so for writing xpath what we have to give we have to give double slash okay then we have to give tag name 
okay then we have to open one bracket and then we have to give uh, at the rate attribute and its uh, correspond value okay i will show you not an issue just blindly see this video you will understand what i am going to do okay for an example i want to use uh, i want to grab this password button okay okay so uh, here i can use class okay we have a class also we have a id also we have a id also okay id is pass i will show you the id first okay how to use id we have to control f first uh, we have to give hash and then we have to give the at id value id value is pass here let's paste it you can see this block is highlighted we can use this one but suppose if we don't have these things now so how to use a how to grab this element with x path we are going to see in this video okay so as i told you what is the syntax first we have to give double slash backward slash we have to give okay slash slash tag name okay just grab this element first yeah so this is a tag name okay this denotes i will tell you here starting from this one okay and then here it is given div so div is a tag name okay so this is a tag name slash slash div okay and then what we have to do we have to open one square bracket okay and we have to place attribute at and at the rate okay and then after at the rate after at the rate we have to give the attribute and its correspond value so you can see what type of attribute is there okay so you can see the attribute is class also attribute is id also first i will tell you with the help of id okay so you will understand so at the rate id equals to his correspond value id value is pass container just copy it okay and paste the value inside a single quotes okay you can see this block is highlighted okay this block is highlighted so this one is also a one locator this is a this is for how to use x path okay if you are not understanding just go with this video once again then you will understand definitely okay now third one id is okay x path is okay now we will go to uh, css selector first okay let's see the css selector css selector and x path i will say it's a very similar okay what to do now so in okay i will go to the text first okay like how to use css selector okay how to use css selector okay in this tag name is optional okay you can write tag name or you uh, you if you don't want to give the tag name then this is optional okay tag name again you have to open the bracket and then we have to write attribute equals to value just we don't need to write at the rate and also we don't need to write this tag name okay so just go there just remove this one this double dash not required at the rate not required so you get you got it this time also this password is highlighted okay this password block is highlighted so this is a css selector only difference we are not using any uh, we are not using any let me write first yeah we are not using any uh, double quotes okay not this double quotes uh, this forward slash also this tag name is uh, optional i will show you just remove this d first okay if you remove this d also now you can see this is highlighted again okay it means this this d or this tag name is optional okay so like this way you can write your css selector okay so uh in this video like guys i will tell you these things only okay because if i give all the things at one video na so video will also become long and also you will lose your interest okay so uh, like slowly slowly we will learn all the things because this is a main thing this is a basic things which we have to learn uh, because if these things will be okay na then you can automate any test cases okay so this should be clear that's why i am not giving you uh, at one go uh, we will learn these things very slowly okay so for three three things i have highlight uh, already taught first one is id x path and css selector okay from the next lecture we will learn about tag name and the class name okay so yeah that's all guys in this video we will see you in the next lecture meanwhile happy learning and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye